Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited because I'm taking you through a leg workout, but not just any leg workout, my first leg workout back at the gym. So it was a good one. Um, it didn't go quite as planned because it was pretty busy at the gym and a lot of people were using the equipment that I needed to, but it all worked out because I wasn't too sore after my workout and I'm happy about that because I didn't want to go back to the gym and absolutely kill myself, but I can definitely tell that I got really weak um, because I've been doing home workouts for forever, it feels like, and I lost all my strength. So you guys get to come along my journey and watch me gain my strength back, which is really exciting. I went to the gym today again and did another leg workout, and I went harder today. And oh, my legs are feeling it already. But starting off for every single workout, whether it's legs or upper body, full body, whatever it is, I like to warm up. So I went on the treadmill at like a 3.5 incline, I think, at like a 3.5 speed. And I walked for about five to 10 minutes just to loosen up my muscles, get the blood flowing, get everything warmed up, ready to go for my workout. But straight after I warmed up on the treadmill, I went straight into my little room at the gym and I did some um, like mobility movements just to get my hips opened up and my legs all warmed up. So um, I did that for about five minutes. Um, I need to get better at those type of exercises, especially like opening up my hips and stuff because I have really tight hips, but you know, we'll start doing that. And then um, straight from the mobility work, um, I went straight into glute activation. So I just used some bands and I did some squats and some hip thrusts and clamshells. So I did 10 hip, regular hip thrusts, then I held for 10 seconds, then I did 10 um, hip thrusts with in abduction and held, then after that it held for 10 seconds and then I did 10 hip thrust pulses and then held for 10 seconds and after that I did I want to say 15 clamshells on each side I told you every single time don't you worry you would always call me at the wrong time so you can know what I was up to oh don't you get that it's just stupid mm. because all of the squat racks were taken up so I had to start with isolation movements 
not compound, and that really sucked. So usually I structure my workouts compound, so like squats, RDL, sumo deadlifts, um, things like that where I have both legs, and then I'll go into single leg movements, but I have to start with single leg movements since everybody decides to take up the squat rack at the gym that day. That's always how it goes. Whenever you need the squat rack, they're all taken up, and then when you don't need it, they're all free. But starting off, I did three sets of 10 curtsy step-ups. Um, this one is really good for the side of your glute and also it's just challenging because instead of it's like a curtsy lunge except you're stepping up so it's a little bit different of a movement hamstring curls um, my gym only has the hamstring machine where you're sitting down in like the chair and then you're like going like this with your legs I like the machines where you're laying down and then you're like curling your legs up for the hamstrings my gym does not have that so I just use a free dumbbell so I just hopped on a bench and did 10 lying hamstring curls with a dumbbell that then the squat racks opened up so I did three sets of 10 squats at a pretty light weight because I'm just starting going back to the gym and my form needs to get better but it will as I keep on going to the gym but I did three sets of wider stance squats with my toes pointing out um, I just personally like to go wider and also when you go wider it hits more of your hamstrings and your glutes rather than your quads but whatever you want to hit, um, go ahead and do that stance for squats. I tried to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my red cup now. I will soon make a move. that with 10 RDLs. On this movement, I personally try to isolate my hamstrings as much as possible so I don't bend my legs too much. If you were trying to target more of your glutes and your hamstrings, you would want to bend your knees more, but that's not my case. So um, I obviously bend my knees a little bit, but not a lot, just to protect my knees. And you really want to focus on engaging your core and um, hinging at the hips, keeping your back flat. That way you don't hurt your back. Into three sets of 10 elevated reverse lunges. If you haven't tried elevated reverse lunges, um, they absolutely demolish me. If there's something about adding that little bit of height and having to get a little bit lower when you're lunging that just demolishes my glutes and my hamstrings. <laughs> So I did three sets of 10 on each leg. And on this movement, you want to keep your core really engaged too. That way you stay balanced and you don't fall over because that would be very bad if you fell over with the barbell on your back. Ooh, I can taste it. The 
So I held a dumbbell in one of my hands and I kept one leg flat on the floor and then I put the foot of the leg that I'm not focusing on just like on my toes a little bit just to stabilize myself. If that's a little bit challenging for you, you can always um, grab onto something that way you have more balance. And then I did three sets of 10 on both of my legs again there. and. Again, you want to keep your back as flat as possible, just hinging at the hips. And I, again, was trying to isolate my hamstrings, so I kept my leg a little bit straighter. this leg day because people were just using my equipment and I didn't want to be at the gym all day waiting. So that is all for this leg day but don't you worry because I will keep filming more leg days for you guys if you guys like them. But I hope you enjoyed this video and had fun watching it because it was very fun for me to film and it was so nice being back at the gym and being able to lift heavier weights again and I'm excited to better my form on my squats and keep getting stronger back to where I was before I stopped going to the gym. Um, but don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked this video. And I'll see you guys next time.